Hey everybody. Um, it's your friend Jordan. So today I am. This won't really be like money. No, but you are wealthy in more than just monetary ways, right? You are rich with knowledge. Um. Oh, and welcome to the first live stream. Mm -hmm. And what are we doing today? We are going to be talking about this book is this preposition conjunction and interjections, but right now we're gonna be focusing on prepositions. So my my pajamas. We're doing our my yours. Mom, my mom got them for me for Christmas. What'd your mom get you for Christmas? A lot of things. Thank you. <laughs> All right. <coughs> this is my role. Um, so can we tell them um, what a preposition is? Okay. Um, you think you can some of you fellow, fellow viewers out there might be like, what's a preposition? Shin, you can't just jump out there without telling me this. Mm -hmm. So, what do you think you can describe a preposition? Um, a preposition is. You want me to read off of that? No. Try your best to kind of explain it. Mm. <laughs> preposition is a word that is basically. I can't. This guy is hard. Okay, so... You want to read it? You can read it. Okay. It is... I'll break it down after I read it. Okay. It is a preposition... A preposition is a word placed before a noun or pronoun to indicate its relationship to some other word in the sentence. So, it's not really... Well, here are some examples. Oh, What's what's a what's a good way or a good way that um, you read kind of gives you a clue, like that helps you remember what a, what word might be a preposition in the sentence. A clue. Yeah. What about this word gives you a clue? The word preposition. Well, in preposition, there is a word. That you probably know. It is. Well, it has. Does it have a prefix? No. Or is it just? So, it's one of the ways the we we remembered it was. Position. Uh, yes. Yes. Preposition. Was, so, if you can pre, remember, like, preposition. Oops, you can't Kind of, sort of. So, like, pre is, like, the preposition always comes before For the, the noun. noun. Or, or the object, right? So, and then it usually gives you some, when they talk about the relationship between some other words, um, usually prepositions kind of give an inference to, like, its position, right? Preposition. That's how we remembered it. Do, 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 do. So, um, no, not literally, but it's like a clue. Helps you remember, right? Mm -hmm. So, like, when you say... It's like, um, what is that word called? It helps you. It's like when they have it out in, like, little, like, sections, like... Or, like, how do you remember the rivers in Virginia or some other state? Or, like, New Jersey or Alabama or mm -hmm. whatever. Yeah, stuff like that. I don't know. Yeah, it's just a clue. It's just something that you use to help jog your memory. You know what I mean? Kind of. It's like a saying, kind of. Mm. It's not an acronym. Yeah, I think that's what you're thinking yeah. of. Yeah, it's called an acronym, but it's not. Like but this is not an acronym. But I understand what you're saying. Acronyms are always sort of help you yeah, remember I'm things. They're Sometimes they're created for that purpose. Anyway, um, I made that one. Um, a, a, examples of a preposition, like. What's an example of a preposition? Um, the ah, uh, sorry. Okay, the sorry. Let me start off easy. Okay, 
the I sat next to the table. I thought you were gonna say next to my mom because oh, sat next to my right mom. Right now we're kind of a preposition sort of right now, right? I the, sat next what to else, my what mom. Else, what else? What else? What else is a preposition? Like like look at yourself in this camera. What sentence can you make that involves a preposition based on what we see? I sat. What the water bottle? Uh huh. Is on me in in your hand. Hand. And what would the preposition be? In. Uh huh. And what's the object of the preposition? Hand. And what's the prepositional phrase? In my hand. Yes. So the prepositional phrase. Phrase. I can't talk. I can't say any phrases right now. Okay. Um. It's basically from. Actually, we should say the object first. Cause, um, okay. So what's the object? So the object is basically. The object of the preposition. The, it doesn't have to be the. It doesn't It's not necessarily an item. But it's like what it is. What it is, like what they're saying, what the position, not really position, but what the preposition is being either, for example, like in front of or behind. Or right. Next to or it's what. In it or something like that. Right, it's what the preposition is connected to, and where is the where is the object of the preposition always at? It is never before the preposition. Yeah. The thing you can remember is because pre means before. Yes, from preposition. So it's before the object. Yes, the object is always last. And so, now that we know what a preposition is, and we know what the object of the preposition is, right? The object of the preposition is... Let me the phrase. Uh, now oh. we have a prepositional phrase. Okay, so a prepositional phrase is... Um, oh, sorry. Okay, so it is basically between... Like, say we have a phrase. Oh, I'll just read one up here. They walk... Mm. What you do a simple one. We're not on prepositional phrases right now. Oh. Well, technically, all of these have prepositional phrases in them, but let's okay. do. So, I thought they were over here. No, all of these have prepositional okay. phrases. Okay. We, wait, the children hid under the bench. Is that too hard? You can just stop at under the bench. The children hid under the bench. So, the preposition would be under because, remember, you can think of it as position, kind of, mm -hmm, a little bit, mm -hmm. like it's under. Mm -hmm. And then the object would be the bench. Mm -hmm, because Not the children, because the children is before under. So, right. right. And... So basically, it is since we discussed that the preposition is under, mm -hmm. and the object is bench. Uh, preposition object. It's basically all of the words, like. Are you looking at me? Because I'm not looking at you. <laughs> all of the words, all of the words, like between the preposition and the object. It's weird when Indeed. I see you looking at me, but I'm not at, like, when I'm looking, see you looking at me in the camera. Yes. So, go ahead. Describe that again. A prepositional phrase is when you have the preposition is the is in the beginning, and your object of the preposition is at the end, and it in, <laughs> prepositional phrase includes the preposition the object of the preposition, and everything in between, right? Ooh, am I doing it right? I feel like I'm about to smack you in the face. <laughs> okay, wait, you, you do the two, you, do, you be the preposition and be the object. And then the prepositional phrase. <laughs> I really wasn't trying to. I, they can't tell. They can't tell that I'm not looking. I'm trying to look at the camera 
and do it. Okay, so this is the uh, preposition, and this is the object. <laughs> okay, you, the prepositional you, phrase uh, is everything <laughs> in from the object to the preposition, yeah, yeah. and everything in between, right? <laughs> That's the prepositional phrase. So the prepositional phrase in an example you gave was what? Um, the bench. Here's the sentence you were reading. The children hid under the bench. Bench. Oh, the prepositional phrase. Oh, it would be under the bench. Right. Because it's between. Good one. Well Let's do some more. Let's do some more. And then we'll go. I hope you guys are enjoying our little learning lesson Here. today. We got this book from. And wait, what did you get it for? I got it for. Well, our family, we celebrate Kwanzaa. Mm -hmm. I know most. Well, from my school, most people. I've never. No, so nobody says that they celebrate Kwanzaa. So I think that's kind of unique. It is. So, people are surprised. Like, we saw my Kwanzaa. They're like, I've never seen or had friends that celebrate Kwanzaa. So, I'm like, yeah. So, there is a day. Umba? Which principal? Yes. Is it Kuumba? Kuumba. What are we doing, Kuumba? We have the f festival. La 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 la. We have the big feast on. Oh, so we have the feast on what day? The fiesta. The fiesta. We do the oh. feast on what day? On the fourth. So and we what do we do? We have the feast and, and then we do what? We open or to get the. You don't have to do this, but um, you get. Gifts for, it's like Christmas, but. But how is it different? It's different. So, it's first of all, it's not wrapped. <laughs> Second of all, it's not under a tree. I mean, it might be. <laughs> in, if you're celebrating Kwanzaa, you might put it under a tree. But, um. You can wrap a Kwanzaa gift. It's just not going to be in Christmas but it's paper. Just, yeah, true. You put it in a box or bag. Whatever. Okay. Um, <laughs> it's not basically what you, like, want. It's... Girl is smart. <laughs> it's not what you, like, want. It's kind of like helping about your needs, kind of. But not like, well, your Chris, like, Christmas list. You're like, ooh, I want this. And your parents, like, if they see... If you, for instance, if you give them your list or whatever, they might get you something on there. And now that's not the case when we do the opening gifts on there. Um, you, your parents are basically, or your guardian is, um... She's so politically correct. What? <laughs> <laughs> your guardian. <laughs> okay, um... They're basically getting it for your needs? or Yeah, it's kind of school. right. It's like the gifts are more about, it's not so much about getting you a bunch of stuff that you want. Um, it's about giving you stuff that can develop you or enrich you. You, you enrich. You know how we do up in, you know how we do in Born Rich, right? Uh -huh. <laughs> like, we like to enrich. So... Facebook. Usually, what kind of gifts do you get for Kwanzaa? You, personally, what kind of gifts? Oh. Good job. It's time myself. What kind of gifts have you gotten for Kwanzaa over the years? Okay, so did we do it last year? We've done it every year. Oh, no, I know Kwanzaa, but I'm talking about the gifts. Yeah. You don't okay. remember what you. <laughs> no, I was just asking last year. You don't remember what you got for Kwanzaa last year? <laughs> no, I. <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> this year I got these. <laughs> no, we gonna go back. <laughs> Three years? We did Kwanzaa then? Yes. The first year? <laughs> yes. Okay. What? Okay, what did you get for Kwanzaa this year? And then we'll go back another <laughs> year or two. Okay. <laughs> what did you so, get for Kwanzaa? This year, yeah, this year, 
But you can tell them. I'll go get my other thing. No, you tell them. It's like, no. this is, I'm on your channel. Because I have my ring. I want to show them. It's upstairs. Show them that. Show them what you got right here. Okay. So, I got <clears throat> a, these little booklets. They got them from this store. It's like a little African place. I don't really, I wasn't really expecting this to be in there because it's mostly like African stuff. But, but have you considered the fact that since they typically only sell, I've never seen them sell anything that wasn't made by a black person, right? Their books, their stories, everything in there, right? So maybe this company, and we can research it, is a black company. And then that would tell us that this is a great company that we can support, right? And help them grow their business because they're trying to educate kids. And I never knew that. And you never knew that. So we learned something in buying learning some things. <laughs> I found. But we'll look that up. We'll figure that out. If it is, we will definitely let you know because honestly, I'm not even kidding. These are probably one of the best learning um, workbooks that I have seen that I've used. It's like at school, like, but at the home. You can also, your teachers might actually bring this to school because it says on um, books. Yeah, they're, they're for good for parents teachers, and teachers and for students. parents. I like them. To me, they're better than those little rinky dink ones you get at the dollar store for sure. And also, even like the ones at Barnes and Noble, I just find the activities more, I don't know. I like them. So, so the book's we're, got we're gonna research it. We're gonna, let me show you the name that way, in case it is you guys already have it. Yeah. I'm trying to show them the name of it. The, the, yep. I hope y'all can see that. I think you see it in backwards. No, it it's, says it's what's the other way around. You think so? Yeah, it does. It says a breath of fresh air, garlic press. That's ironic. Garlic press. Garlic, garlic press. press. That's the name uh. of the company, and they have. So far, all of these, and we got one that's not listed on here, and three other ones. Right. <laughs> we got preposition, conjunction, interjections, and interject, yeah, interjections, capitalization, and punctuation. Mm -hmm, we mm -hmm. got we got mechanics. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We got. And, and we got we have have sentences for mm -hmm. grammar, like when I just said we got. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay, okay. And what else did you get for Kwanzaa? Just tell me about it. You don't have to Wait, show. I'm not sure one. Where'd it go? Why we this no, one? you only got four this year. Four? Four? Four okay. workbooks. Yeah. What about punctuation? Okay. So, for, for this one. Oh, uh, one more thing. I got a ring. Mm -hmm. It said, it was um handmade and it said my name on it. Jordan with the Y. So, I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. I people spell my name with an A. It's unique. So mm -hmm. a lot of some people with Y in it too. But okay. What Last else did you get year. this year? That's all you got. Yeah. Oh, the dresses, the 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 outfits. Yes, yeah, so you got a new kente outfit. I don't. The other ones are tight. Mm, one of them I'm outgrowing. Ones, yeah, outgrowing your my favorite blue one is outgrowing. I mean, yeah, I'm I really like that blue one too. It's a pretty color blue. And it's my favorite color blue. <laughs> Maybe they'll make some more in your size and we can get them. What did you my, get last year for Kwanzaa? What? What did you get last year for Kwanzaa? So last year, I got some Kente mm -hmm. stuff. Yeah, we got some Did I get that there. book? That Kwanzaa book? You always get books, mm. but you did. You got a book on Kwanzaa last year, and 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 we went to <laughs> to the Kwanzaa fair, and you got lots of books there too, right? Kwanzaa fair. The one we went to in Richmond. Oh yeah, that was fun. I went so I went with my best my best friend, my best friend last year, and her mom, and we. Got to see a ton of stuff. It was cool. They had like little, it was like a little market, a mini market in the whole entire place. And they also had like activities for kids. And they had stuff that it was just like, and there was this famous mm -hmm. Christian rapper. No, he wasn't a Christian rapper. Oh. 
myself. But he came. To, he came to the the place. I don't know what it was called, but um, I don't know if it's centered. But um, and he wasn't. He was just talking about. I don't remember what he talked about. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't. I wasn't really that interested because I had no idea who that was. I was like, mm. thank you. And Thanks. what else did they do there? Um, uh, you got to see them like the canard? Oh, yeah. We got to see them like the canard, and they did dances. Mm-hmm. That was cool, and they were, like, really good dancers. They had people drumming the drums. There was one guy. <laughs> one guy. He was going crazy. He was like... And Does that help you remember what else you got that year? I got earrings. I mean, a ring. You got drums. You got this oh, yeah. kind no, of drum. That was, that was for that. No. I think you got it out of nowhere. <laughs> that was the biggest gift of all was it your costs drums. It a lot, though. And it's from Africa. Yes. It is from Africa. And then what did you get the year before that? The year. No, I got that but the year before that. No, you didn't. <laughs> But you did get musical equipment. Again. Oh, I, 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 okay. I got some symbols. Those things, if you know, if you don't know what symbols are, um, you may know this toy. It's like a monkey and marches around like this, and it goes like with these little instruments. <laughs> like, ding, 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 ding. It's annoying. <laughs> and they're in mar- like in marching bands or whatever. I rarely see them any like people playing bands anymore because they just. Loud. They do have them when you go see. You know what? We're gonna have to go to a college football game. I'm gonna shake like like <laughs> an HBCU football game so you can see the bands. It's like in the cartoon when like someone plays like a vibrating thing. It's like they play the cymbals <laughs> and the bands. We're going. We're going to an HBCU football game. That's it. I thought there was no more. You mean tickets? Oh, yeah. you know you still got a lot of life left. Okay. Um, you got cymbals, and that wasn't it. You got some more musical instruments. I got maracas. Okay. Then you got something else. What's that little thing? We had, um, it was a little, it was like a little stick. Oh, we got, I got triangle, which is cool, because I never thought. Triangle, cause I mean they they don't make that much different like on like a guitar where you had all those different tunes and a piano, whatever. But I never thought triangles they look very they sound to me like how you would say even and it sounds very like happy and and, and like angel like. <laughs> And yes. I like the shape. I've almost forgot about the triangle. Mm-hmm, I almost did. And I got one more thing. It was like a wooden thing. And that's what I was. That's the instrument I was thinking about. It's kind of like, like a xylophone, but what made of wood kind of thing. It wasn't a xylophone, but yeah. no, I know it's not a xylophone. But it's like a stick. Kind of like, like rub it around. But it's kind of like a xylophone, <laughs> except it's made of wood. It makes different sounds, of course, because it's not that ding ding sound. But it's similar, like flat, and it has different. Wood pieces across the thing. That's a, that's called a xylophone. Ah! Don't start talking to me. That's okay. We need to finish up. Um, what else? Um, that's all I can remember. Oh, you got books, of course. You got more books this year, too. You got more books than just those books. I got more books than you. No. Right? Is this from a different company? Oh, no, no, no. It's just straight. Look at this. Different anyway, I don't even remember how we got this far. So, got them for Kwan- as Kwanzaa gifts. And Kwanzaa gifts basically are gifts that enrich you. So, help music, you. learning to play music, in- musical instruments. And not just musical instruments, but instruments that are kind of related to your culture. And help you connect with 
a deeper side of you. <laughs> um, and then you got some books that were not just learning, regular learning books. You got some books that help you learn more about yourself mm-hmm. as a girl because you're growing up, right? That was a cool. I'm doing like, I got, I got that together for this one. I got that for this one. She might be right. I gave her books for Christmas too. <laughs> Can I say? You like to read? Always read. Always read it if you have the chance to. Because it helps you with your writing. You, If you are. <sighs> Better reader, you become a better writer. Mm-hmm. So you, you should learn read. more vocabulary the more you read, right? You learn no new words. And then your writing will be, if you write, then it will be very interesting. Or maybe if you like, if you, for instance, if you're like at school and your principals or somebody might be instructed on your work and be like, this child or a kid has very, very, very explicit. Is that the right word? I don't know what you're about to say. Vocabulary. <laughs> Exquisite, I think, is the yeah, word you're right. <laughs> quite If you funny. got explicit vocabulary, you probably got suspended from school. Because <laughs> that means you're saying bad words. <laughs> But you have an exquisite vocabulary. <laughs> but you know what I like? The fact that you tried to use a new word. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> How else do you grow your vocabulary if you don't try to so just throw caution to the wind and just, you know, just throw it out there? You know, there were times as a kid. Actually, I probably still do this as an adult, where, you know, you use words, you understand words in context, like, you know how to use them, but you don't exactly know what they mean, but you know when they're appropriate to use, right? (laughs) Wait, wait, (laughs) all right, okay, wait, what? I said, you know how when you use words that... You know how to use them, like you know what context that they should be used in, but you don't exactly know what they mean. Like you don't really know the definition, but you know, uh huh. Like they're familiar with them, right? So sometimes your vocabulary expands when, as you first get familiar with the word, and then later you learn what they mean. Like I'm sure you were saying no way before you knew what no meant. He was just like, no, 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 no. <laughs> Who said that? You. Me? When I was a baby? Mm-hmm. Why? Because <laughs> that was an easy word for you to say? No. No. No, 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 no. Actually, you didn't say no very much. You said, eat, 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 eat. <laughs> Did I you remember agree? she said, I remember I would see that like, time to eat, eat. Eat? I would always say eat instead of time to eat. Um, <laughs> now that I say it, I'm like, that sounds weird. Eat, eat. You know what one of my favorite memories is? You're always somewhere like pretend reading. Like you would take a book. Ugh, let's get this. Like book when out. you came around, I pretended. No, you really believed you were reading. Like <laughs> I have this. I have like the best picture of you sitting on the bed reading this book. But the thing is, what I you you never tried to make up words. Like you wouldn't try <laughs> to just pretend that you knew what the words were and just be like, yeah. And then the girl said, and then he was like, your glasses are cool, and like looking at the pictures. You didn't try to make those up. You would just run your fingers across the words and look at them, and you wouldn't say nothing. Amani sometimes and look she at goes, the page she until goes, you but done. she kind of does the same thing as me, but she goes, well, when she was little, like, that was my cousin, by the way, she would go, like, she would run her finger across it from time to time, and then she would she would also just stare at them looking at the book for, like, five seconds. She'd be like, 
So that the prince. Also. Yeah, but you didn't do that part. You wouldn't try to make up a story. You would just look at it like, um, I know I don't know what these words are, but I know I like to read. Even though I don't know what the words are saying, I really like books. You really, you never, you didn't like toys as a little kid for a long time. You were like, yeah, about that doll baby. Can I get that book over there? <laughs> Anyway, tell your friends goodbye because you have school in the morning. And if you're going to learn at school, you need to be well rested. Mm -hmm. I see you. Tell your yeah. friends goodbye. It can't help you. <laughs> tell your friends goodbye. Ah, goodbye, my friend. Give me hugs. Tell them hugs. where they can talk to you. Okay, talk to. I got three words for you. Talk to me today. Wait, that's four. Talk to me today. I love you guys. Don't forget the hashtag born rich. Share. If you see this, don't forget, try to share this to all your friends and family. Maybe show your dog it. Because why no. not? Yeah. I believe dogs speak human. I actually kind of agree. My dog is like an alien. <laughs> she will wait for us to stop talking. She'll be like, rah, 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 rah. and then she'll stop talking and we'll talk about it. Blah, 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 blah. Well, She's stalling. Stalling. It's time for her to go to bed. I'm not stalling. I'm just saying. Okay. Goodbye. Love you guys. Bye. Ooh.